Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm I'm Robert, um, aka Bitcoin Stylist on Twitter. Uh, you got me in the beginning of starting this new show where I want to simplify and make accessible uh, crypto, Web three, and digital assets to to everybody. Um, I feel like there's a a lot of like fear, uncertainty, and doubt, um, miscommunication, and uh, misunderstanding, and even misinformation in the mainstream media. Plus, I mean, the reality is they like to sell. Ratings and ratings are sold by controversy, not by education. So uh, that's what I'm looking to do here. Um, technically, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm here to uh, up, keep you updated on the latest events in, um, in crypto, Web3, and digital assets. Uh, I did an earlier video on what is blockchain. I'll be doing two types of videos. Uh, I'll be doing a terminology slash lingo videos. Uh, they'll be short, so um, I'm hoping that they're simple enough for you to understand and get, and I'll include links if you want to go deeper. Again, if you're into computer science, you're already into crypto, this might be a little too simplified for you, but the news updates should be interesting, so please check it, check this out. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about three topics. I'm going to try to see how quickly I can get this in, um, and I want you all to tell me if I'm going too fast or if I'm maybe too simple or too complex, because uh, this is still in like pilot mode, so everybody... Please give me your feedback. Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about metaverse concerts. Um, we're going to be talking about crypt Silicon Valley losing uh, everybody to crypto and blockchain startups, and we're going to talk about we're going to touch on the energy consumption uh, because I know that's something that's important to you. Um, a lot of these conversations kind of get sparked up in the chair. That's why I call myself the Bitcoin stylist. Please check me out on Twitter. Uh, follow the links. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, it helps support me. Okay. So, Metaverse Concerts. Uh, so, what you may already know is that Ariana, Ariana Grande did a, did a concert in um, Fortnite. Fortnite is a video game. For those of you who don't know it, anybody who has children probably has heard of Fortnite. Um, it, you can go on through your phone. You can go on through the TV. You can even go on through virtual goggles. Um, and it's massive. It's a massive game, and people go and just hang out. Um, Ariana Grande uh, made about $20 million dollars. Ed Sheeran did a concert in Pokemon Go. Um, so these are kind of like the early like games that are already set up. These are not blockchain games. Um, so what in or blockchain metaverses, uh, but it's a metaverse nonetheless. So um, application is growing in this space. Now something very exciting about our blockchain metaverse called the Sandbox. Uh, Snoop Dogg has a um, has a big lot of land and he's building out Snoopverse, which is going to be like games and experiences. But the cool thing that you're probably interested in, he has he ha he was selling NFTs for like special access passes, and um, and they sold one thousand. They're got about fifty seven hundred dollars each. So do some math. That's a pretty good return um, for setting that up. Um, and he's building his own land with games and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, just Google Snoop Dogg Metaverse or Snoopverse. Uh, but apparently this guy, he's been he's been quietly accumulating NFTs and collecting it. And I read, I read an article. He has like $17 million worth of holdings in crypto and NFTs. And, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and also you can sell, they can sell virtual merchandise. So like you can update your avatar with like a shirt or whatever, but uh, you can also buy stuff in the metaverse and it can get shipped to you in real life. Uh, so that's just a cool application that's happening. Um, okay, next is uh, the New York Times reports hundreds of Silicon Valley people from engineers to executives are leaving for crypto companies. Um, investors have poured $28 billion into crypto and blockchain startups and um, and in order to try to curve some of the people leaving these big tech firms, uh, Google is offering like massive stock options, stock grants for people to stay on board. Apple's offering up to $180,000 uh, bonuses just to stay on board. And, um, and a lot of the reasons when people are asked why they're leaving, other than the money, they said that uh, when they joined big tech, they felt like they were going somewhere that wasn't going to be a lot of bureaucracy. Um, and instead they're in these like hyper bureaucratic, uh, no longer the hacker way. So the whole like lifestyle of working in these big tech firms has really kind of turned more feeling like they're working for the government. And uh, a lot of the creative people, engineers and people excited about tech, uh, they're not really into that. And, uh, oh, and then also the fact that people, uh, don't have to wait 
for the company to go public because they can earn some of the crypto mm-hmm. underlying mm-hmm. asset of the company. Uh, so that helps them feel like they don't have to like slave away in startup world forever uh, to reap some of the benefits. Um, okay, so yeah, tons of people leaving Silicon Valley and all the big tech firms, which you are probably all invested in, are now leaving to build up the crypto and blockchain uh, space. Um, okay, next, the last, my last and final point, um, green Bitcoin mining. And um, so there's an article in Forbes magazine. It looks like it was uh, this summer it was written. And um, I thought this was actually really good. I'm trying to pull information from mainstream media sources. So none of you think that I'm just trying to size up uh, crypto news. I want to uh, kind of shoot, shoot it straight with you all. Uh, Bitcoin has a proof of work mechanism, and I'll be doing a video about that kind of a little later on. Actually, uh, I think I'm doing the Bitcoin video tomorrow, so tune in and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, But basically, the energy consumption is very high, and I'll get into why that is tomorrow, but um, it keeps it scarce, secure, and impossible to corner by one group. You know, that's the, the theory behind it, and it turns out that it works. Um, so yes, that consumes a ton of energy. Uh, the crypto world is very aware of the problem with the energy consumption. As a matter of fact, pretty much every other blockchain is either built or is creating, uh, or is updating their blockchain to be a different mechanism, which is exponentially less energy consumption. So you don't have to worry so much about that. Now, however, Bitcoin is not changing. Bitcoin's not going to go away. And, um, so if Bitcoin's not going to go away, then we need to figure out, like, what are we going to do about all this energy? So the crypto industry is very well aware of it, and crypto investors are very, very well aware of it. As a matter of fact, um, ever since China banned crypto, um, the amount of coal energy used dropped significantly. And China used to account for 61% of the hash rate, and a lot of that energy consuming was dirty energy. And now um, they account for, I think, zero. And uh, the U.S. is now at, I think, 50% or more of the hash rate. And a lot of these uh, companies have created deals with uh, local governments. Um, And the one thing that I thought was cool with Texas, I just, I found out in this article. And um, I'll get you these links somehow. I'm I'm still figuring out how that's all, the whole thing uh, setup works. But it says uh, Texas and miners have a deal with the government. So a miner is just a person who processes transactions with a bunch of computers in a room. Okay, don't go don't do deeper than that. Unless you want to, and then you can maybe come on the show and talk, talk to me about it. Um, okay, so miners have a deal with the government where they're going to shut off their rigs at any moment's notice. Because we all know like Texas power grid shut down and everyone's like, what is going on with Texas? Um, so Texas is aware of this, so they don't want to like have these miners running in some place where the energy can still be kind of created and then sent to people who are having trouble getting energy during times like that. Um, So they have to agree to do that. And then also they agree to soak up all the lost uh, renewable energy that is not being consumed. And I found estimates that it could be as high as 17% of renewable energy is wasted because it either can't be consumed or there's inefficiencies in uh, transmissions, Uh, which brings me to my next point. Um, When I was in school, I wrote a report on how to change um, the uh, U.S. energy uh, uh, profile to be more wind energy. It was largely based on uh, T. Boone Pickens' plan, which... um, Really, like the big thing I got from that is that our biggest problem with green energy creation in this country is that we don't have the infrastructure to move the green energy from like the Great Plains where there's tons of wind or the desert where there's tons of uh, sun and and move it to the cities and where it's really being consumed. And the battle is that the, the you know, the government will put up so will help out, but like the, the utility companies don't want to build the lines until the power companies build the power, but the power companies don't want to build the power until they know they can sell it. Well, enter crypto mining companies. Well, crypto mining companies can now bootstrap uh, green energy companies that can build and can, can be, start selling their energy right away. And usually they can sell it for a better price than what they can go on the grid. Now, even if they don't, even if they sell it for less or the same, the point is that they're, they, these companies are able to get started uh, with with this and as a matter of fact texas has a massive wind and solar energy um development that's happening right now and uh crypto is a big part of that 
And additionally, one last thing, and before I sign off, which I thought was also really cool, um, I watched Cryptopia, uh, the, uh, the documentary I think you watch on Amazon Prime or YouTube. Um, one of the companies that they talked about in that is uh, starting up where they'll, they're going to basically build out like a solar plant and you, and then they're going to they're gonna take each panel and turn it into a token and you can buy the token and you can, you can reap benefits of the usage of that solar panel. I mean, that's pretty super cool. So if you're worried about the energy consumption, worried about the environment, don't worry. Crypto is, is on top of it and uh, they, things are changing and the industries that it will replace won't be consuming the same amount of energy. So eventually uh, we could actually see a net positive from the use of crypto down the road because of all these initiatives. If you wanna know more, you can check out the links. Um, you can also check out um, Google um, Crypto, what is it? The Crypto uh, Climate Accord. It's modeled after the Paris Climate Accord. It's, uh, you know, there's some, you know, big names of the blockchain world that are on top of that. So anyway, all right. So you got the metaverse. Just to wrap up, we got the metaverse, massive bunch of concerts. That's going to be, that's being called the way the mass adoption uh, into into the metaverse is through through uh, celebrities and experiences and concerts, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, people can go to a concert, especially in COVID. Um, and then we got the second thing that I talked about today was oh, that uh, all these Silicon Valley people are leaving uh, leaving leaving um, their their big tech firms and they're going into like hundreds of of engineers and executives are leaving to go to crypto companies and the um, and as far as the, the energy consumption stuff, I'll be doing a lot more videos on this because I know this is like in my in the salon, like my style, my clients are telling me that, you know, this is one of their big concerns. Um, but, you know, work is being done to make sure that uh, we are tackling that problem. Uh, we, no one is sleeping on the environment over here in the crypto world. And, um, and, and, and as a matter of fact, now that you're listening to this, you're in the crypto world, so you can know that things are happening, but I will keep keep on top of that. You know, I'm gonna keep a scrutinous eye because I do care about that. That is an important part, uh, important topic to me, okay? Well, um, if you, please give me some feedback. I'd like to know like uh, how, you know, is it easy to follow uh, when I talk? Is Do I talk too fast? Is it is it too complex? Is it too simple? Um, and then you could also go to howaboutthatcrypto.com and uh, it'll take you to the YouTube channel. There's a couple of episodes that I did with my brother um, but I'm going to be doing these daily and, uh, so check back in in the morning. It'll probably be earlier than this. So you might not catch me live. Um, but feel free to shoot me some questions and please give me your feedback. All right. Until then I'll talk to you later. All right. Hoddle on.